good afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you today from Vanilla Minecraft Java Edition, the traditional game, the game that actually got me started even looking at YouTube, let alone getting into making videos on YouTube. So why am I in Minecraft Vanilla? Well, after the Sky Factory 4 series wrapped up, I did try to start a new one and I just, you know, I couldn't face it. I couldn't face the grind of those trees. And I realized that I was a little bit burnt out on modded Minecraft. I'd been playing it quite consistently for quite a bit of time. And I wasn't getting that feeling that I got when I played Foolcraft anymore. So I stopped playing and I, I took some time to think. I've been playing a few other games. You're going to see some different stuff pop on the channel. Um, but I decided to go back and take a look at vanilla Minecraft. Now, last time I played it, it was version 12. Version 12.2, actually. And now we're on 1.14.4, and in another month they're going to be announcing 1.15. I don't know when it releases, but I've heard a lot of interesting things. So basically, this it feels like I might be going into a whole new game, because they've made so many changes since I played. So, here's one thing. Since it has been so long since I played, if you are playing the current version of Minecraft and you have any tips or tricks for me, please, I'm, I'm open to it all. Uh, let me know what you think, what tips and tricks, what should I try, what should I not try, what's new that I should look forward to. Um, put that in the comments below or join us on Discord and share there in our Minecraft channel. In the meantime, I've been looking around. I have done a little bit of little bit poking and prodding. The village in this image is like so, there's just so many little things that are different. Um, I do feel like I'm getting into a whole new game, but let me just make sure first that I have all my stuff right. Uh, so video settings, I want to make sure, yes, I've got it set to fully bright because that is how I like it. My full screen's on, every, the shadows are off, everything is blending. Okay, that's all looking good. I've gone ahead and left the graphics and the clouds all fancy. I might have to change that later, but I don't know. I've played a little bit. I played about an hour just to see if this felt good, and it did, um, because I wanted to make sure it worked for me. And uh, so I don't know on this computer how well this is going to play yet beyond that. So, all right, subtitles are on. Yes, music is down. I like it down low. Okay, so I think all of my settings are the way I like them. Um, oh, also one other thing, resource packs. I had actually made a resource pack combining some stuff from other people's pa resource packs and stuff. That makes That's about how all your skins and stuff look, uh, the, the blocks but they have done a whole new resource pack for the game. So we're gonna go with the pack from the game itself. So I think that's everything there. So now let's go ahead. Uh, you can see I had start, that's the test game that I made the other day. We're gonna delete that one because we're not gonna use it. But you can see I haven't played in a year. I have not played in a good year. Oh my gosh. Um, cause I did, when I got this new computer, I moved all of my old save games over here. So they're all sitting there <laughs> and that's how long it has been. All right. Well, let's not worry about that. Let's go ahead and do survival series two. We are going to go with survival more mode. I always turn on cheats cause if something goes really, really bad, really bad, I'm okay with throwing it into a cheat mode, the creative mode and trying to fix it. Uh, but I don't want the bonus chest. We're going to go with default everything else. And we don't have a seed. We're literally going to just jump in, create the world, and see what happens. And I don't remember seeing this box below the percentage thingy, Mababi, before. Um, so I guess we're seeing the first thing that is new. 100%. 100% joining the world. We are joining the world and here we are. We're in a forest. There are pigs. Pigs are good. That means we get to eat. Okay. I do remember the basics. I remember the basics. I do because the basics, ah, there's our first bit of lag. Okay. Remember I said I wasn't sure how this was going to play on this computer, except that it will play. I just don't know how often I'm going to get lag. If it gets laggy, we'll, we'll reduce. Oh, there's a swamp over there. A lot of hills. I was kind of hoping for a beach. But my, my plan to start is literally, oh, there's a mine cart rolling around here. There's a mine around here somewhere. And there's sheep over there. Okay, we're headed that way first. Um, my, 
plan for starting out is just to get her get get us equipped. We're going to start by being equipped, equipped enough to uh, survive a trek and check out the world and do some exploring and see the differences. I, I want to see these pandas I hear of. Um, I, I, I really do. So we're going to we're going to see if we can go find some pandas and do the dolphins. I haven't seen the dolphins. I haven't seen the new fish, except, of course, for watching other people's videos, which I have watched a few. Um, I still think that the Hermitcraft uh, team of players, they're amazing. They are so far beyond anything I will ever be able to do. But I watched a bit of theirs still when 114 came out. And I will still occasionally pop in and watch one of their videos. Um, but they're way over my head. I'm, I'm an everyday average player just looking to have a bit of fun. So, uh, when I, when I watch them, I feel very inadequate. <laughs> Does anybody else have that problem? Anybody else? Is it just me? Okay. Let's get ourselves a crafting table. Okay. I got to remember what does and doesn't work now that I'm not in a, uh, a modded Minecraft universe. Cause I'm trying, I'm trying different key clicks and stuff that th they don't really work in this situation. Like shift. Yeah. It, it doesn't clear the whole thing. <laughs> There's no inventory tweaks. <laughs> Uh, all right, I want an axe to start with. We're going to go straight for the sheep. There's only two. Okay. Well, maybe we'll find a third. Hi. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got to do it. I want a bed right off the bat because I, I've heard about these creatures that come flying down at you. If you don't sleep on a regular basis, it's, uh, you know, it's not for the insomniac, let me tell you. So unless I'm underground for a long period, I, I definitely want to sleep. Plus, of course, I just want to sleep in general. Uh, through the night because that is a safer way to get through the night. All this stuff that's just floating around. I'll take all that too. All right, there were three sheep. That's 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 okay. That's what I needed. Oh, that's right. The leaves are breaking down and they break down more slowly. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're getting uh, drops at such a weird rate. All right, let's go ahead. I kind of like this spawn point that we got because there's the swamp. So we immediately had sheep. There are pigs back over there. Um, there's mountains, so there's going to be a place for me to dig myself in for the night because that's my plan. I always, I always do that. I dig myself in for the first night. There are other people who will make a hut, uh, that kind of thing. Now, one of the things I hope to do with this series is kind of remind myself how to play. Okay, first start. Um but also go through the exercise of learning how to do a lot of the new stuff and how to do things that I've never done before. Ooh, there's coal right there. Uh, so while I'm not claiming this is going to be a tutorial filled uh, pack or, or series, excuse me, it hopefully will be the kind of series that um, We'll walk a beginning player through, an, an ordinary normal beginning player, walk them through some of the things that you need to know to play the game. Because as we know, this game doesn't exactly come with a user's manual, does it? No. That's how I ended up at YouTube, isn't it? Let's go ahead and make a stone pickaxe. So it's a little easier to pick up the coal. I love finding this coal. I do. This has been a good thing because then I'll be able to make torches right off the bat. Why, why is that? Okay. I was going to say, don't tell me that's changed. <laughs> that's kind of a basic recipe, isn't it? All right. We'll take you. And this makes it a little faster. Of course, you upgrade your tools when you upgrade the materials you have from wood to stone. And when I break the stone, I get cobble and cobble becomes all the other stuff. Now, you know, surprisingly, I want to I want to think that I should be missing Vein Miner, which is a modded Minecraft uh, ability. It gives you the ability to basically, I would have been able to just 
break one of these blocks and all of these coal blocks would have broken. Uh, it comes in separ several versions, but the one I always call it by is Vein Miner. And I'm not missing it. I'm not. I, I'm, I used to, when I played Vanilla the first, first year I played it, I actually kind of enjoyed <laughs> the mining aspect of it. It was just the right thing for where my brain was at at that point. And maybe, maybe that's why I'm switching to my vanilla in a way too, because my work, my real life work is getting very intense right now. We have a lot going on, a lot. And my brain is a bit fried. And so I think the modded Minecraft, which is a more technical Minecraft, to, to me, to my way of thinking, everyone can have a different opinion. That's okay. To me, it was I was burnt out on too much technical. In part, just because it felt a bit grindy. In part, because my brain is just tired from work. So anyway, all right, we've got quite a bit of coal. So that's good. I need to find a place to dig in. Um, because that is what I do. And I was kind of noticing this big hole over here. I'm kind of getting away from the... Uh, spawn point quite a bit and I don't want to lose track of it because one of the things I think I want to try and do before okay shift does shift still do this I'm in shift and I'm going to the edge of the block I'm not falling off okay shift still does what it always did and still <laughs> I know it's a fundamental thing but until I learned that when I was first playing this game like I've clicked shift and I walk up to the edge of a block I will not fall off without it you know, without shift, which is crouch, you'll keep going. Okay, this might be deep enough for some caving, but I certainly can't stay in this very easily right off the bat because uh, it's too big for me to block off, right? So I need to find, oh, bugger breath. Oh, oh, there was a creeper. I am an idiot. Okay. Well, wow, that was a creeper that just blew me up. Okay. I told you this was too big to be safe, and yet I, I then I proceeded to not be safe. Oh, that was, that was close. All right, I need to eat. Yeah, see, it's dark enough for things to spawn. So what I was thinking before I proceeded to get blown up was to make myself a little hole to start with right here. Because I need a safe place to just spend the night. I'm digging out too much in the front. I need to, to get a hole here. So nothing else creep up behind me, please. The reason I have um, the sub subtext on on the bottom right Okay, which is one of the things I was turned on, is because I have the volume, the game sounds turned down. So if I'm paying attention to it, like when we first landed in this world, I said, oh my gosh, there's a minecart around here somewhere rattling. I didn't hear the minecart, but it said it in the subtitles. And that is the purpose of those. Okay. So now you come with me. Luckily, the creeper did not kill me. It, it really should have, I think, just for being an idiot and standing there in a darkened area. Okay, I'm eating the apples to recover my health. Okay, so I picked you up. Let's put you down. Not the tree. The tree's not going there. Uh, and I have got enough cobblestone to make you. So that is a furnace. So we'll put you down here. Put some coal in you, and we'll cook off the mutton, so we'll have an even better food source. Um, I need more wood. I do. I need to not fall off this as well. And we have access to more than oak, which is great, because oak is nice, but it's totally not my favorite. Totally not my favorite. I much prefer spruce and dark oak. Those are my favorites. Um, so I'm really glad to see that we have spruce. One of the things I still still won't do is I still won't leave half a, a log 
behind. I, I like to clear the whole tree. The leaves will despawn with time. Okay, this is a little nerve-wracking jumping down here. I don't want to fall in the water. Okay. Well, let's light this area up. And of course I don't have a mod to tell me if everything is lit up enough to prevent spawning of things. So that's an issue. I'm going to have to uh, remember the rules of all that. Let's make a door real quickly. And thusly. Okay. So right now, things should start spawning out there. But we are safe in here. And we have food, which is a good start. Okay. So, all right. So the, that is going to actually be it. This is going to be a relatively short episode. The episode's may get longer and longer, but we've established a world, we have established our foothold in the world, and we have established that we didn't die on the very first episode, although we came close. So for me, that's a win. That's a good thing. Because <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm really good at dying. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, folks. In the next episode, we will start getting her equipped and getting ready to explore, because exploration is my first order of business in this game. I'm not going to pick a place to start a base until I've done some exploring. All right, folks, again, if you have any comments, suggestions, things that I need to know because I haven't played in so long, leave comments below or join us in Discord. This is Little Daffodil thanking you as always for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.